Welcome to Greyfriars Kirkyard, a stone's throw from the National Museum of Scotland. Now today we are here to look at one of the most notorious stories in the city, the Mackenzie Poltergeist. You may already know about the Covenanters, but if not, it helps greatly to understand that they were a Presbyterian movement who played a pivotal role in the Wars of the Three Kingdoms and the eventual regicide of King Charles I. Naturally, Charles II wanted to stamp out the movement, and it fell to George Mackenzie, the Lord Advocate in Scotland, to carry out the persecution. Following the Battle of Bothwell Brig, 1,200 Covenanters were captured and imprisoned in a field next to Greyfriars Kirkyard, what's now known as the Covenanters Prison. Separated from the original graveyard by the Flodden Wall, the Covenanters prison wasn't originally a part of Greyfriars Kirkyard. So when the Covenanters were imprisoned here, it would have just been a muddy field with no tombs to shelter under, no toilets, nothing throughout the three long hard winter months they were here. They were given only a mouthful of water a day, a few ounces of bread if that. Many of them were taken from here down to the grass market to be tortured and executed. That much suffering is certainly enough to give us the levels of negative emotion that poltergeists are supposed to thrive on. But stories of hauntings in Greyfriars Kirkyard didn't come about until much, much later. Mackenzie himself died in 1691 and was buried only a few metres from where the Covenanters were imprisoned. But it wasn't until 1998 that something would happen to set Greyfriars Kirkyard on the path of notoriety. The story goes that on a dark and stormy night, a homeless man was looking for shelter inside this tomb. What he didn't bet on was that the 300 year old floor wouldn't hold his weight and he crashed through landing in a pile of festering skeletons. Screaming blue murder, he crawled his way out terrifying a man who was walking his dog on the same night. Soon after that strange things started happening in the graveyard, some of it around Mackenzie's tomb, some of it within the Covenanters prison itself in a mausoleum that's become known as the Black Mausoleum. People visiting the graveyard have been kicked, bitten, scratched, burned and even been knocked clean out standing inside this tomb. There are several theories as to why these attacks are happening. Some say it's Mackenzie himself, unable to rest properly because of the crimes he has committed in life. Others think perhaps it's the Covenanters themselves, their souls trapped in the area where they suffered for so long. Skeptics might say that it's simply the perception of this place being haunted that causes people to experience these very obvious, sometimes physical attacks. But whether it really is the dead coming back to haunt us or whether we're just haunting ourselves, the fact is, is that this corner of Greyfriars has always been just a shade too still and too quiet.